Episode 73, Angela desires to meet Renfrey's parents. Mom, don't ever mention this again. Dante said coldly, Okay, I wouldn't mention it again, as long as you and Renfrey are happy. That's enough. Angela said, Yes. Dante nodded. Angela was happy to see that her son was no longer troubled by the past. Hey, when will you take off your mask? Angela asked. Dante touched the mask on his face and said, Don't worry about it. Wearing a mask all day long is crazy. Angela complained. I like it. Dante said calmly, I wouldn't nag you anymore. I want to see the breakfast my daughter-in-law made for me. Angela said proudly, Breakfast is ready! Renfrey shouted, Wow! Daughter-in-law is the best, unlike this son of mine who's unwilling to make breakfast for his mom. Angela complained, Then I can be the one to make it for you in future. Renfrey offered sweetly, Oh, my daughter-in-law is the best. Raising a son is useless, Angela said. Dante looked at his mom and could only shake his head helplessly. Suddenly, an excited and happy voice shouted, Mom! Emma! Angela shouted. Emma immediately threw herself into Angela's arms. Mom, I missed you so much! Why didn't you come back earlier? Emma complained. Okay, okay. Mom won't leave again. Angela assured her, heartbroken. Angela had rarely called them when she was gone, but she did miss them. Really? Emma asked, leaving Angela's embrace. Really? Your brother has a wife, so I'm not leaving. I'll stay here from now on. Angela said, Okay, Mom. Renfrey said with a smile. No. Dante snapped. Why? The three of them asked in unison. Don't you all have your own houses? For a jewelry designer as successful as Angela, owning a house was no big deal. Emma did not even need to say anything. The income she made from her fancy dessert shop was nothing to sneeze at. Brother, Mom has finally come back, and living together is fun. Don't you think so, sister-in-law? Emma asked Renfrey. Renfrey blinked her eyes and said, Dante, can't Mom move in? It'll be fun. Please let Mom and Emma move in. Dante looked at Renfrey helplessly and reached out to rub her head. Okay, he said. Yes, I knew my sister-in-law would be the best. Emma said with a smile. Renfrey, since you don't need to go to class today, Mom will take you out to shop. Angela said, okay. Renfrey said happily. Dante looked at them and knew that the coming days would be lively. Oh, right. When we have time, I'd like to meet your parents. Angela said. Renfrey's face turned pale. She looked down at her feet. Mom! Dante shouted unhappily. He walked to Renfrey's side and put his arm around her shoulder. Uh, are we going shopping? Uh, let's go! Emma said nervously. Angela instantly knew that she had said the wrong thing and immediately grabbed Renfrey's hand. All right, we won't talk about it today. Mommy will take you shopping like crazy. Angela said, Yes, Renfrey nodded. After they were ready, they headed to the biggest and most luxurious shopping mall in Phoenix City. Today, Dante planned to be a bodyguard and help them carry bags and pay for things. Because of Dante, all eyes were on them. Hey, come take a look at this dress, Angela said. The salesperson noticed them and said, Hello, everyone. This dress is limited edition, and it is one of a kind. Mom, this dress is really beautiful, Emma said. Renfrey, what do you think? Angela asked with a smile. It looks good, Renfrey said sweetly. All right, wrap it up for me. I want to give it to my daughter-in-law, Angela said with a smile. Okay, one moment, please. The salesperson said cheerfully. Emma looked at her mom unhappily. Mom, you're playing favorites. You've only bought me one or two pieces of clothing and a lot for my sister-in-law. Emma complained. This is my first meeting gift to my daughter-in-law. Angela said. Thank you, Mom. Renfrey said with a smile. Hello, your clothes are wrapped. Is it cash or card? The salesperson asked politely. 
Angela heard him and turned to look at Dante, who was standing there. Son, swipe your card. Angela said. Dante put down the things in his hands, took out his wallet, opened it, and took out a black gold card. When the salesperson saw it, he was almost scared silly. He carefully took the black gold card from Dante's hand, as if it was heavier than a stone. The black gold card was a symbol of power in the world, and there were less than ten of them in total. When the salesperson was done, he obediently handed the black gold card to Dante. Let's go. Carry these clothes, son, Angela said. Way to go, brother, Emma said, giving him a thumbs up. Renfrey looked at Dante carrying so many things and felt guilty. Dante, let me help you, Renfrey said. Dante's heart soared when he heard this. It's okay, I'm not tired. You keep shopping with Mom and Emma. No matter what you buy, you still have your husband's ADM card. Dante said dotingly. I knew you were the best. <laughs> Renfrey chuckled. Brother, what about me? Emma complained. Let's go, Renfrey said, and grabbed Emma's hand and ran out, leaving Angela and Dante behind. Let's go, Dante said. Yes, Angela nodded. After Dante and Angela left, the salesperson started gossiping. Wow, that's amazing. It was a black gold card. Someone said, yeah, I really envy them. The salesperson replied, that man is really cool. Although I can't see his face, I can't ignore his demeanor. Said someone else, I secretly just took a photo now. Another admitted, just as they were discussing Dante, a black shadow fell upon them. Delete those photos. A voice growled. It was cold and emotionless, like an ice cellar, making people tremble.